The moment that, that really galvanised it, there was a meeting in Clontarf Castle on the 5th of November in the main ballroom there. There was uh, at least 600 people there, the room was overflowing. There was cross-party support from TDs, from senators, pretty much from all party backgrounds that uh, this was an issue that needed to be looked at again. My involvement was, was uh, as uh, the chair of the rebuilding project in the Scout Den. I've also, you know, I started in the scouting group here in the 1970s. I spent 40 years uh, as a member here. I've probably done maybe two or 3,000 of the lagoon in a kayak or in a boat. Uh, so I know the water very well and intuitively it seemed to me that this wall was too high. So what I decided to do uh, was to get an independent professional survey of the heights done uh, so that we would have you know, the facts of the matter and we would be able to say to the nearest you know, centimetre or millimetre even you know, uh, how, high, how high this new wall was relative to all the other weak points around the harbour. The whole of Dublin Port is, is effectively like a bath. The one great thing about water is that water goes to the lowest point available. So when you're looking at a, a wall like this, you have to look at what's the lowest point within the Dublin Bay catchment area and where the water will go. This is the new wall, obviously. Um, it's not finished yet, there's no capping on it. The capping is about another 15 centimetres or half a foot. It's going to go up about this height. Existing wall height. Here we have the bull bridge, the, the wooden bridge, um, so the water will start to flood onto the wooden bridge and in through the traffic lights at this height. Here we have the causeway road, again the water will start to flow up the causeway road and through the lights, I mean water doesn't stop at traffic lights. Here we have the IFSC, this is the river uh, defences at the IFSC near the Famine statue. Um, so you have two trillion of funding down in the IFSC uh, that will flood at a level here that's you know more than a or around a metre lower than the new wall. Uh, down here, this is the highest ever tide that there has been. Uh, it was back at the start of 2014. Down around this level uh, is the other side of the bath. So the wall that, do, that, that hems in this lagoon between the Scout Dam and the Royal Dublin Golf Club is down at a level here that's 1.7 metres lower than the new wall. So like any bath, uh, you know, it's pretty obvious I think that it's going to flow out over that side before it gets anywhere near the heights of this wall. You know, it may be that when Dublin City Council was designing this wall that it looked at the wall in isolation, um, but you know, there really needs to be an integrated look at where all of the water in Dublin Bay goes at any one time and you know, probably worth starting with the lowest point and looking at that as the first flood defence uh, area rather than, you know, an area here which has never flooded.